Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to the presentation of Masterclass in Dermatology Cutaneous Lava Migrants. This is the first. I'm Dr. Prosper Tetedo in the United Kingdom. This is a photo of cutaneous lava migrants on the skin. This presentation will be covering the cause, the symptoms, and treatment and prevention of this condition. Now the cause is hookworm eggs are shed in infected dog or other animal feces to the ground, where they then develop over a period of one to two weeks into the infectious larva form, filariform larvae. Filariform larvae can burrow through intact skin that comes into contact with soil or sand that is contaminated with feces, although they are able to infect the deeper tissues of animals through to the lungs and then the intestinal tract. Humans are incidental hosts and the larvae are only able to penetrate the upper dermis of the skin and thus creates a typical worm-like burrows visible under the skin. These parasites apparently lack the collagenase enzymes required to penetrate through basement membrane into deeper skin. And this causes various symptoms. The infection causes a red, intensely pruritic, itchy eruption. Itching can become very painful and if scratch may allow secondary bacterial infection to develop. Cutaneous liver migrants usually heal spontaneously over weeks to months and has been known to last as long as one year. However, severity of symptoms usually causes those infected to seek medical treatment before spontaneous resolution occurs. Following proper treatment, migration of the larvae within the skin is halted and relief of associated itching can occur in less than 48 hours, which is reported for thiabendazole. This is separate from the similar cutaneous lava currents, which is caused by strongyloides. Lava currents is also a cause of migratory pruritic eruptions, but is marked by one migratory speed on the order of inches per hour to perianal involvement due to auto infection from stool and three, a wide area of eticaria. Treatment and prevention cutaneous lava migrants can be treated in a number of different ways. One is systemic oral agents including albendazole which is called albenza as a trade name and ivermectin which has a trade name of stromectol. Another agent which can be applied either topically or taken by mouth is thiabendazole, mintazole, an anti-helminthic. It is recommended to use Benadryl or some anti-itch cream like cortisone or calamine lotion. This will help relieve some of the itch and also wearing shoes in areas where these and parasites are known to be endemic offers protection from infection. In general, avoiding exposure of skin to contaminated soil or sand offers the best protection. Thank you very much for your attention and I wish you all the best in your career. Bye for now.